Murray, you want to say a few words? That would be great. <clears throat> I, I'm not a real talker, but uh, yeah, I can say a lot. I've been in the, this forestry business for myself 65 years. Uh, I've seen the private wood destroyed, the marketing board destroyed, the private wood destroyed. When we got, now we got left because of the Crown Land Act, we got, I own private ground, which is worth almost nothing, uh, not even worth hardly paying the taxes on. Nobody even wants to buy it because of these big companies have all the Crown Land they want off of Crown Land. They don't even have to pay very much stumpage. Well, really, if you figure it out, last year they lost $33 million. Our government selling our wood to these companies, they lost $33 million. So you know how much they get out of the wood? Not very much, eh? Nothing? Less than nothing? And uh, that makes private ground worth less than nothing too because how are you going to sell private ground when they're getting this wood for nothing. They don't even have to pay taxes on my ground that I bought and and we got it under civiculture and thinning and all this. I've got to pay taxes on it. Like I pay thirty, forty thousand dollars a year taxes on my ground, which I can't even afford to cut the wood off it because it's not worth anything. It's just absolutely destroyed by the Caroline Forest Act. Now under <clears throat> Richard Hatfield back years ago when I don't know if I was one of the best governments we had or not. I would I'll question that one. But anyway, he gave us the negotiating power for the market boards to negotiate a price on wood. And at that time, we were getting $36 a cord for pulp in St. John. And it gradually came up to it was worth 70 And that was made it so it was kind of workable for that time. Uh, then it went up to 101 which was pretty good for us guys that worked in the forestry. We, we worked hard, but we enjoyed it because we seen it going someplace, seen it doing something. And then all of a sudden, the Tim Pope companies were by Bud Bird was given, given to all the Tim Pope companies. And then McKenna come along and he broke the marketing board, took negotiating power away from them and he couldn't negotiate anymore. The last year we cut wood, we could have, the last year we shouldn't have cut wood, uh, six years ago. and and we were using our own money. Our company lost $110,000 cutting wood and selling it to these companies. We were selling wood for $76 a cord when, what was it, 30 years, 28 years before that, we were getting 101. Can you imagine a drop like that because the, there's no, no negotiating power anymore? You only got, we had one, company to sell to and you all know who that company was and you couldn't negotiate a price so you took what they give you which was less than nothing when it come right down to the whole thing and so we had to quit and uh, I was old enough to retire but I didn't want to retire I still don't want to retire because I enjoyed the woods I enjoyed forestry I love working I love doing things I love see see people working we bought a bunch of us went together, bought this mill, tried to put it in production, and I think there's, what, 30 or something woodlawn owners and whatnot and other people involved in this mill trying to get it going. But we got all the cards held sort of against us. We can't even get crown land unless we pay a month, a month or, well, seven or days ahead or a month ahead of time. And we got to bring the wood in and do all the manufacturing and then try to sell our wood. So it makes it almost impossible for us to run the mill and to do that. But we would like to see this run like a co-op. When the people of the province would own this mill, we'd all share in it. We'd share in, hopefully, the profits of it. And uh, and I'll be quite happy working in the woods and doing things. I mean, uh, we don't want to be millionaires. We just want to work, make a living, not have to work for nothing, really. Thanks, Murray. So those are the kind of jobs that we should be creating in New Brunswick, and that's a priority, and the Green Party's uh, plan for re rebuilding the forestry sector will do that. One of our priorities in, the, in, in this uh, platform, in, this, in this, uh, this strategy, is to restore the 40,000 woodlots in this province as the primary source of supply 
for the mills in this province. So that that's where the wood comes from first. And that will provide a good rate of return for our woodlot owners. Every woodlot owner is uh, basically a business person uh, running a small business, generating revenue, creating jobs in their communities, and they want to create jobs in their communities.